Hey, Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles, the great millstone, who has told me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk like to do so. It's going to be a quick video, a little willing the video is edifying, a little willing you can get something from this video. We're going to read through Micah, uh, Micah the seventh chapter. Uh, on down, okay, and kind of get some uh, some important things to to think about in the time to come, and some uh, well, in the time that we in right now, and some important uh, uh, things that's going to come up as these people are going to be um, faced with. You know, this is Micah seven. I'm gonna start at um, I'm gonna start at uh seven. It says, therefore, I will look unto the Lord Yahweh. I will wait for the Most High. Of my of my salvation, my power will hear me. Okay, it's eight. It says, "Rejoice not against me, O mine enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord Yahweh shall be a light unto me. I will bear the indignation, right? Because when you go to you know indignation, it's it's righteous judgment. Okay. Matter of fact, let's get it in Micah uh, seven. Let's go to the blue letter. Let's get it in the blue letter real quick. So we can understand what the breakdown of that word is. All right, here. right now. Here. Boom. Indignation. So it looks like za'af. Let me see if. Strong's age 2197. Zaf. Zaf. Okay. Zaf. 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 Okay. So it's uh it says, rage, raging, storming, indignation, indignation, wrath, raging, anger, indignation, raging, wrath. Okay. So the anger of the Lord, right? Bearing the ind indignation, which is the uh the anger of the Lord. Let's go back to this because, um, the reason why. You know the you know the reason why the Lord is angry is because we sin, right? And it's going to further you know express here and nine. I'll run it back. It says, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh because I have sinned against Him until He plead my cause." Okay, because the Most High is going to uh, have mercy. It says, "And execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold His righteousness." This is ten. It says, and that's you know really all the men that's doing His word and that's doing His truth. You know, and that sacrificing the things that they could have had in this world for the world to come. That's really what, you know, we all have have uh, to look forward to, you know, is the most high. It says he says it says and execute judgment for me. Right. So we all have that to look forward to the most high executing judgment for his his men. You know, the most high is not going to be, you know, going to not going to leave us out. You know, you know, matter of fact, let me grab that. It says, um. Uh, not mm, it's just... let me see labor Right here is Hebrews 6 verse 10. It says, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Well, what work is that talking about? That work that it's talking about is the work that we're doing now, the work that we're showing now. And part of that work, too, don't forget, part of that work is getting right as well. You know, it, you know, because that's that's part of the battle as well is getting right. You know, with, you know, um, putting off the demons, you know, putting off that old man, walking that straight gate. That's work. Okay, that's work, man. On top of preaching this word in truth and sincerity, right? Doing your best fighting day in, day out, sometimes hours in, hours out to stay in this word and stay in this truth. Sometimes in your sleep to stay in this word and stay in this truth. That's the fight. I made a video on transit the other day, kind of expressing a little bit about the fight. You know, uh, that's that fight, man. It says, for the most high, it's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Right, because what we do is showing love. Now, ultimately, the Most High is showing love to us, because He gave us His word, He gave us His truth, so that that so that we might be saved, so that we might receive salvation. 
okay? Because in the times to come, we're going to need salvation, okay? We can't save ourselves out of the madness that these people are, are, you know, trying to hit us with, you know, with the max and, you know, and, you know, lockdowns is certain things, and, you know, martial law or martial law, because indeed it's coming, whether you believe it or not, it's coming, you know, the rulership of this world can't go on forever. I saw some, I saw um, some the other day um, on, on social media with, uh, what's his name, T.D. Jakes, I think, T.D. Jakes, uh, and he was even saying like, some shit like, oh, well, uh, you know, if you look at other ancient um, kingdoms, right? You look at other ancient kingdoms, they all had to fa fall. You know, look at ancient Rome, they all fell. So he was like, he was saying on the, on the cardinal side, thinking that he's part of America and he's not. Well, he is, but he he thinks he is, you know, of, he thinks he don't believe he's an Israelite, you know. So he thinks that America is for him and not against him, you know. A lot of two thirds do, you know, but um, he was saying like, oh, you know, uh, America can if we don't get our stuff together, America can fall too. America can fall too. So I say that to say, listen, it's gonna fall. It has to fall. There's no it, look at ancient Rome, right? Look at all the ancient kingdoms, right? Look at it, right? And and America has everything in common with. With that, if they don't have everything, if it doesn't have everything in common with ancient Babylon, it has um, it has the majority in common with ancient Babylon, ancient Babylon, right? If it doesn't have anything in common with the Roman, uh, everything in common with the Roman Empire, it has uh, the majority in common with the Roman Empire. Just like Sodom and Gomorrah, it has the majority of Sodom and Gomorrah more going on. This place is just it's bigger and it's happening from from the east to the west and north and the south, man. You know. It's happening, and that's why this place is going to be X'd out completely. Okay, it says, uh, Hebrews 6 and 10, it says, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Okay, God. And then the scriptures tell you, in, uh, when you go to Hebrews 10, I think it's the last verse, um, the last verse, I think it's 30 something, 39, it says, We are not of them, you know, that draw back unto. Perdition, but them that believe in the saving of the soul, man. Okay, that's one of my favorite passages in the scriptures so far. This is uh, I'm gonna read back uh, back in Micah seven uh, and ten. It says, "Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? My eye, and you got that right. You you have that in certain cases. You know what I mean? Is in in this fight and in this truth, you gonna have that, man. Yeah, the going get tough every now and again. You know, if you lose, you know, somebody that you, yeah, you know, your so called wife or whatever, you know, or you know, a girlfriend or you know, a woman due to this truth. Yeah, it hurts, but at the same time, it's not nearly going to have going to hurt or have an effect on you as bad as what's going to happen to that person. You know? Because it was better that she had not even been with you. <laughs> or known you. Right? Instead of her knowing you, knowing what you about, blaspheming and marketing, getting herself marked. You know? this is It says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Whereas the Lord Yahweh thy power, mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets, and in the day that thy walls are to be built, in the day shall the decree be far removed. Yeah, so in the days coming, right, that's going to a great slaughtering, right, a great judgment is getting, is getting ready to take place, you know, for, you know, this world, you know what I mean? And no matter what, Good news you might hear about, oh, you know, that, uh, max this, max that, or opening this, opening that. Keep in mind, man, that regardless of what happened or what you see, right? And regardless of what America betrays, if it's doing good or not, this place is going to fall. Okay? Always remember that. Don't ever forget that. Because if you don't take that in consideration, you'll be set on your leads, man. Trust me. You'll be, you'll be, oh, okay, things ain't so bad. Nah. 
stay on your watch, man, and make your call on an election, sure. Low Willing Videos at a fine, and that goes for me as well. Low Willing Videos at a fine, Low Willing Akim gets, got something from this video. I'm going to give all praises to you. How about you, me? I'm shot by Shimon Kakwadash. When you take brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.